The Dirt Show. The, the Wall Street Journal broke an interesting story. Apparently, they've done an investigation about the death of uh, Yahya Sinwa, the head of, um, of, of Hamas, and they discovered that he kind of left a last will and testament and directions to his people. And the directions were interesting. One, don't make peace, don't give in to Israel, don't compromise, don't have a ceasefire, all of that, which was expected. But the other was a statement to them to encourage the killing of Palestinian civilians. He basically said that the strategy that he, the head of Hamas, wanted was to induce Israel to kill as many Palestinian civilians as possible so that the media reports the numbers, 40,000, 41,000, 42,000, 43,000, the fake numbers. But it doesn't matter. But it's Sinwa who wants to make sure that these people are killed. Um, so, you know, Israel is blamed for killing uh, Palestinians, but it's Sinwa who has created a strategy around killing them. He calls them martyrs, they get paid, and uh, they're put in harm's way. Um, they're encouraged to stay in areas where the Israelis have said, please leave so we can go after the terrorists. Um, they're used as human shields. And then the Palestinian Authority, the Hamas Authority, I'm sure, uh, I'm sorry, the Hamas uh, Health Authority puts out these fake numbers. Um, and, and it's all part of the Sinwa strategy. So the media is really making the Sinwa strategy possible. They're giving him a posthumous victory after he's dead, pursuant to his, um, to his last will and testament. Read the article in the Wall Street Journal. Uh, it's, it's very interesting. And it it confirms what I've been saying for a long time. For years, I've been writing about what I call Hamas's dead baby strategy or the CNN strategy. They put babies in harm's way, hoping that Israel will kill them. Then they carry the babies out with tears in their eyes in front of the cameras, and they blame it all on Israel, even though it was part of their plan to get as many dead babies in front of television cameras as possible. It sounds brutal and cruel, but this is Sinwa saying it, not me. Uh, uh, saying it. All right. The good news is Israel now has killed the successor to Nasrallah, his cousin. Um, apparently they killed him a week ago or so, but just announced that today there was confirmation that he was among the people killed. So now uh, we have the heads of Hezbollah, the deputy heads of Hezbollah, the heads of Hamas. They're all dead, but obviously terrorism still persists and still continues. Um, Blinken is in Israel. He met with Prime Minister Netanyahu for two hours today. Don't know what they talked about. I hope they talked about the leak uh, in which American um, intelligence officers or State Department officials or who knows leaked material to an Iranian um, media um, telling them what Israel's plans uh, were. And I hope there'll be a full investigation. I'm not confident there will be. I'm not sure anybody wants to see uh, this crime, and it's a very serious crime, uh, solved. Because we know there are people within the State Department who are very pro-Iranian. Um, some of them have been denied security clearance already. Some have not. They all should be denied security clearance. And if there is evidence that they have in any way participated in a leak, and they should be criminally prosecuted as well.